All right, guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den. Hopefully you've been enjoying this collaboration with Ken uh, from Cerberus. And this is like the big video that I've been wanting to do. We're gonna do a sandbag tutorial, okay? So being a part of Cerberus, he sells a lot of sandbags, uses a lot of sandbags. Me being a part of Strawman, him as well. Yep. You're gonna see sandbags at some point in a competition. Yes. So I want him, the pro, to teach uh, us. Okay, we have a couple people here. I'll introduce some, some new faces, some old faces of kind of just the basics with sandbag because although it seems simple and it is to a context, there's probably some little minutia uh, that you can take away to make your sandbags faster, easier, more efficient, and uh, overall just a better experience when you use them. So let's get into it, my man. Here we go. All right. First off, why do people use a sandbag? What is so uh, special about a sandbag? Or so nothing, the, is that well, the answer? <laughs> yeah, well, so the big one's gonna be that it's just non-conforming, non so to speak, you know, it's just a bag, whereas it's not a bar, it's not a stone, which is hard, so when you pick it up, like, it moves, like, it's, it pads in, all that sort of stuff, so it, it actually moves versus being rigid, so that's one of the big features of it. And then in, in straw man, typically, like, what would people be doing with a sandbag? Biggest thing you're gonna see is carries. Okay. You know, pick it, can't run it, load it to something, come back, grab another one, uh, you might at times see uh, sandbag for rips over a bar, okay. uh, maybe overhead pressing it, but for the most part, it's going to be that carry. And then for, so I'm a heavyweight. Yep. What would be like a weight, a heavyweight guy would use in a competition? Uh, so for the contest that I'm training for, the sandbag is 308 pounds. Whoa. And what's the biggest one that maybe you've ever loaded or that you the, sell for service? The one, the biggest one we sell is 396 pounds. So it's 180 kilo capacity, but I have athletes who have loaded it with special media to get it to over 450 pounds. Such as Juji Mufu, <laughs> that I had to move from his porch that weighed 425 pounds. Yeah. Uh, honestly, so I just want to know the basics. And I want you to teach people the yeah. basics of when it comes to like a sandbag, like your stance, how to be yeah. efficient with okay. it. So let's kind of cover that. This is a 100 pound yep. bag. Um, so on the lighter side, but it'll be easy for us to kind of yes. do the technique. So biggest thing is going to be you want your hands under it. You'll see a lot of people who will be like, oh, I'm just going to pick it like this and just fingertips. You have so little strength just in your fingertips. So you want to bury your hands. So the way I do it is I basically go like this and I flick it side to side. That way I can bury my hands under it. And then you want your feet. I always used to do like, you know, sort of, sort of shoulder width and you bury your hands, pick it up, sit down. And then you're picking up, okay. and like you, and you could link your fingers if you're gonna walk with it, but if you're not, then I just hold it. And when you pick it up, do you want it to be like higher up on your chest, or do you like it a little bit lower? Is it personal preference? A lot's personal preference, and a lot's gonna be what you're doing with it. So if you're carrying it, you want to have it free of your legs. Okay. So with like something like this, this bigger one, you'll see guys who will pick it like this, and they'll bear hug it. Ah, uh, okay. But they hold here. Yeah. And then when they're longer, you're hitting your legs. Okay. So you really want to have it. High. Gotcha. Or what I do is I pick it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now clear. So typically that's the way I pick it up is uh, I like it when it's laying, I guess, uh, long ways. Yeah. Uh, but I do see some guys who push it forward and they, yeah. they get the hug. And a lot of that will be stuff like wingspan. Okay. You know, with the got shorter wingspan, it's a hell of a lot easier to just hug it yeah. than go like this. And then with a big, big, big bag, I, mean, I think our 180 kilo bag is about this tall. Yeah. But yeah. I think with the problem that people run into when they push it forward if it is a big bag is then you have to clear the leg sometimes. That's it. Exactly. So that's like, that for me is an issue. So yes. that's why I don't do that. Yes. I have a little bit of a, a decent wingspan, yeah. you know, so I, I can do that. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're gonna have uh, some of these guys just run some bags, myself included, and anything that Ken's seeing like tip wise, we'll cover it. And then basically uh, we're gonna give you guys a sandbag workout that you can try at home uh, with just some basic bags. Yep. All right, so we got special guest, my man, Tom. Tom is an online client of mine. Uh, and he has just a crazy finisher and he's lost a ton of weight and he looks like a freaking beast. So the dad bod does not exist with this man because he is a savage. Uh, so have you ever used a sandbag before? No, sir. No, sir. So you were kind of telling me before, what did you do to make a sandbag? Uh, so I had a, a military duffel bag yeah, back yeah. when I was in the army and I live on seven acres with some cows. So I just took cow feed and poured in there until it got heavy enough. Okay. Big old duffel bag and then just use that. Damn, nice. And then uh, was it awkward? Like, did you feel like just kind of oh, weird with it? Oh, it was incredibly it? awkward because it didn't fill all the way up. So, oh, okay. I mean, I could have some sagging over the edge and it'd be hanging yeah, yeah. over my arm. It was super awkward. So if you guys want to make it way more awkward, uh, don't fill the bag up as much. And it just kind of has that like loose floppy feeling which some people like, some people don't like. If you want that stimulus, you can easily do that. We have some bags here that aren't filled all the way, um, but if you want 
probably for most strongman competitions, they're filled up all the way and they're pretty tight. Uh, so that's gonna give you just a different feel, maybe a little bit more grip. Uh, but I'm gonna have Tom kind of just practice running some sandbags that aren't filled with cow feed, all right? So his cows aren't going hungry today. And uh, we're just gonna see how everybody does. Pretty simple. Yep. Now, uh, Ken, what do you think is a mistake people make with sandbags? I think the biggest one is gonna be they squeeze it too hard. Oh. So if you squeeze it too hard, what you're essentially doing is you're compressing your diaphragm. And then you can't breathe. So that's the biggest that, problem. People do have a problem with breathing. Yeah. They, are, they, they either squeeze it, too, especially in strawman, they'll squeeze it too hard or they'll lean back too far. Same deal. If you lean back too far, compressing the diaphragm, plus you put it all into your hamstrings. Gotcha. So another mistake you're going to see is people will like, sort of squat the bag. So if you come in here, Tom, you're going to come straight over the bag and then squat down to it. So what we don't want to do is now you've got all your legs in the way. So we're going to, to fix this, it's, we want to think about more of a deadlift, like a row and a deadlift. So then we're gonna come back and you're gonna get round and then just a stiff like deadlift it up into your lap. There you go. Yeah, much so better. now your your legs are clear versus being trying to get like this and get in and all that sort of deal. Perfect. So uh, is there a, cause I've seen obviously the lighter the sandbag, the higher you can carry it and the heavier the lower. Is there a, uh, is it more beneficial to carry it lower or as compared to higher or? So the big part of it is gonna be clearing your legs and then your breathing. If you have it higher, then you're gonna to have to lean back because if you're, you know, if you're higher here, it's gonna try and pull you forward. So you want, and then if you're too low, now you've got that leg issue we spoke about before. So for me, if I'm doing a sandbag carry in a contest, what I'm then doing is I'm having my soft belt on and then like a deadlift belt on, not for support, but all about um, a shelf. And then when I pick the bag, I can almost like just like not rest it on the shelf, but I don't have to worry about holding it super tight. It can sit here and I can just snug it. And then my legs are clear. Because I noticed when you, when I, when I carry low, I take, I tend to take short choppy steps. Yep. And I would like, if you would have that shelf that you're talking about, it clears up your legs where you can take bigger strides. It's clear. All right. And what muscles are we using when we're doing these? Everything. everything? So everything. You're using, you're using, you know, your back and hamstrings to pick it off the ground. Uh, you know, you've obviously got your quads when you're walking core for stability, uh, arms to hold it, everything. It's a per it's for, for all body training, especially in a home gym setting, they're an absolute perfect tool. Um, yes, sir. Right. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice, go, 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 go. That's it, come on. Making lightweight out of this Easy. thing. Let's go, that's it, that's it. Oh yeah. Good. Nice. How'd that feel? That was good. Oh, good? I like that. Could, could you think you get your hands around or no? Uh, probably. Okay. Yeah, I probably so what was have. the question you had earlier you were asking about uh, that? Uh, grip. I noticed he was saying if you can link your fingers around. I was just wondering if a gable grip was going to be stronger or coming over the wrist and grabbing that wrist if you can get your arms around. Yep. Which one would be preferred and which one would be stronger? I mean for me personally when it comes to something like this, like we spoke about in Strongman, you're not going to actually hug it unless you're doing it for, the, for distance. Uh, a lot of time it's going to be either or because you're trying to keep those legs clear. For me personally, if I had to take a grip, I'm gonna go like this because I can be passive. Like here, you're almost like, you're, you're squeezing with two hands, whereas here I can like basically have one and still be passive and just let it pull a little bit, you know? That's the way I would do it. So, right. it's gonna be the same deal. So, obviously with these two, they're smaller. You really wanna get under it. So like I said, the big thing I do is I bury my hands. So like this, I'm burying under, so my hands are completely under it. And I'm gonna pick and like row it almost. That way I can get up. So for me, and that is high and it's clear in my legs. Yeah. All right, how you feeling about this, Tom? <laughs> good. He's feeling good, all right? So I'm gonna bury those hands. It's filled with your cow food. Don't let the oh, cows go, go hungry. Nice. Okay, what the heck? Get this guy out of here. There you go. Get this guy out of here. Easy. I'm not even gonna put him on. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's, it's too easy. He's gonna keep, he's it's too easy. Sluggered. We should get a heavier back. What the there heck, Tom? Easy. <sighs> Perfect. Tom, are you trying to show up people on my channel when you <laughs> coming on here? I guess. Well, when I did the 200, that was four or five months ago, and I've been training since then. So, so hopefully, I've so gotten you're, stronger. You're getting stronger, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. So a little secret for you: if you're in a contest, you'll see people who will throw the bag down, then set their hands. You're wasting so much time doing that. So the big thing I like to do is basically lean it into my arm and then drive the spirit, like the second hand in. That way this one's already set. So what we're gonna do with it, we're literally... Oh yeah, it's 
fast. Super fast. Show them what they would do, though. Show them now, what they would do. You know? That's like three way. Or four seconds. Yeah. And if you want to do like an actual contest simulation, what should we do? Maybe we come up to the bag. Yeah. Straight in. Gotcha. Obviously, in contest, every second counts. That's why we have these little things that you notice know, they shave seconds, but they make a massive difference in the in the grand scheme of things. All right, so what, this, was that 250 a PR for you? Yes, sir. So this is two, uh, I think 270. So this would be another PR. Yep. Maybe we'll get you a 300. I don't know. Maybe you're beast, dude. How much do you weigh? Uh, I haven't weighed for a week, but I was 238. I'm trying to get down to 231.4 for. And what are your heaviest? 324. So you lost a, a good amount of weight. Well, I lost 112 pounds and then I've slowly built back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you're recombing yourself, dude. All right, All right, let's see what happens here. Attack same, is, same deal bad again. boy. So we'll lean it over, hurry those hands. There you go. Big breath, big breath. Oh, go, dude, go, nice, go. Tom. Let's go. Easy, dude. Oh, yeah. Holy nice. crap. Hell oh, yeah. Nice, dude. You, you, you uh, live on a farm? Yeah. You own cows? Two. Two cows, huh? Two mini Scottish Highlanders. Oh, see that? Scottish I like that. Annie, Annie has tartan on his arm, too. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, Are yeah. his brothers or what? Clan Donachy. There you go. Wow. I like it. Man, you probably got some jacked-ass cows on that farm. <laughs> hey, you guys are it's good. like two of you, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Do it for the lightweights out oh, there, yeah. Matt. There you go. Not pick. The lightweights. Nice. Come on. Oh yeah. That is just so technically proficient. Go, 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 nice. Go. Beautiful. Easy. Okay, so what we're doing here is a typical strongman uh, carry medley. We've got three sandbags. I send them weight. I'm going to carry them 50 feet apiece. And, you know, great for conditioning if you're just using this for regular training as well. Really intense uh, uh, exercise and, uh, yeah, pretty cool. brutal, honestly. Come on. Oh, nice pick, nice pick. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta be fast. That's it. Go faster, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh yeah, there come, you on. Go. come on. Representing all the lightweights out in the world. Let's go. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Easy. Come on. Fast pick. Good. Fast Big daddy pick. here. Let's go. go. Come on. Go. Nice. That's it. Nice. Go, Matt. Go, Matt. Go, Matt. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. There you go. Woo! When you do a comp with sandbags, like a medley like this, yep. are you able to set the sandbags up like you can with kegs or the sometimes, barrels? Sometimes. Sometimes. Some contests will let you set them up. Other times they'll say, no, they have to be standing, they have to be lying down. All uh, right. A lot of the time you can be able to, sometimes you can't. It it's, depends on the promoter. Yeah. That's strong man though, right? That's strong man, yeah. EK, not in the lightweight class. Yet. You, you <laughs> have to beat him here. <laughs> if you don't beat him, then um, we're gonna figure wait, out. Wait, something. were we actually timing this? Yeah, it's, he did it in 30 seconds. 30 Shit. seconds. Time starts now. He's running it like a football in college. <laughs> he is a strong man tailback, cradling it like a baby. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Nice. DK, it's, it's a tub full of chalky milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. DK loves his chalky milk. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Nice. My gut's telling wow. me I think DK won that. Ah, no, I thought that was like 31 seconds. What? I thought that was 31. One second. I'm, I'm calling Matt with this one. Oh, and we got Tom. Tom's belting up. Tom's like, you know what, guys? I'm going to show you what's going on. after a deadlift workout. Tom, I don't want to be rude, but how old are you? I'll be 38 in July. Okay, so 38. So you have uh, the age and the beauty on this one. Hi. All right, and the muscles, and all the brawn. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There go. Come on, Tom. Come on out. Another former go. tailback for the Sandbag uh, Strongman League. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Yeah. Nice, Tom. Oh, yeah. Killing it, bro. Let's go, let's go. Hold on. Come on. Good. All right, big one here. Get set. Get set. Let's go. We go. Hands under. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Big hug, yeah. big hug, Good. big hug. Big come on, come on, come on. Strong. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Don't put it down. Don't put it down. There you go. That's it. That's nice. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go, brother. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah.
Who do you think won? Colin Tom. You think Tom I won? I think Tom's the man. Oh, Tom is the man. Tom is the man. Tom just showed up for a workout here. Next thing you know, he's on a YouTube video <laughs> lifting 300 pound sandbags, and it's probably not how he thought his day was going to go. Better day than I thought it'd be. And he still has to get to the airport and make it home to his cows. Yep. What are their names? <laughs> you name them? So, since they're mini Scottish Highlands, it's James Alexander, Malcolm McKenzie Fraser, one and name. Claire from Outlander. Wow. The first one definitely got a full name there. Yep. The second one kind of, yep. And then, uh, are you going to eat these cows? No. Okay. They are very expensive yard art. So, which one's this one? This is Jamie. Jamie's the cow? Yep. Jamie's the cow, and then that's my wife, Amy. <laughs> wow. Oh! Stiff like deadlift. Go, 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 go. Roll it in your lap. Roll it in your lap. Yes, come yes, on, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. good. Big hug, big hug, big nice. hug. Nice. Oh, no. come, come on, let's on. go. Big pick. Go, go Tom, go! Yes. Go, Tom, go! Let's go! Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You gotta come make on. your flight. You have to get to the airport. You have to get to the airport. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah. dude. Hell yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Oh. What a rush, right? Whew. That was good. Good job, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Your soul just left your body. It's, it's all right. It'll come back. How'd that feel? That was legit, Whew. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Good, it's very awkward at first, like trying to figure out that feeling to get it in your lap, you know? And once, once you do it a couple times, I feel like you just get better and better at it. But for the first time, man, you killed it, bro. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm pretty bummed out with this video because I actually really love sandbags. But the emotion is no bueno for my back right now. Uh, so these guys, uh, I'm with them in spirit. And I'm just happy that they're here to help me. Okay, so another thing we were going to do with the sandbags, you can load it uh, for reps, you could carry it and load it, all that sort of stuff. And honestly, it's super, super simple. You're literally picking it off the ground and then putting it up here. So all we're going to do is the same deal, bury the hands, pick and then pop with the hips. And then on the way down, hook it, put it down. That's it. Super easy. So I have a better idea for this. We are actually going to do a loading race. Five reps apiece, DK on the 265, Matt on the 200. Fastest man wins. All right, give him the official competitor okay. readies. Oh, man. <laughs> Hands off the bag, okay. boys. Athlete ready, set, go. Here we go. Oh, Matt, oh. one apiece. Oh, oh, oh Matt, oh, oh, oh Matt. Two. Oh, DK, he's smoking you. Come on, come on. Smoke show. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh, Matt. Oh, ooh. So, so, in Strongman, the time stops when your hands come off the bag. So even though Matt got his on first, DK got his hands off, he is the winner. Oh, my gosh. All technicalities. You can see that lightweight speed though. Oh yeah. Out of oh yeah, that's good. So how many uh, sets would you have people work on this for, like in a training session? For accessory work, three, four sets. So the guys are going to do another race here in about 90 seconds, and then we'll see who wins this time. Two. Remember, time stops when your hands come off. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, oh! Look at go. this. Oh, Matt's oh, taking the lead oh, again. Oh, 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 Matt. With the vengeance! Oh, with vengeance! Oh, Matt! Oh. Oh. oh! oh! You got one left! Come on! Come on, dude! There you go! Fuck! In, in all reality, I mean, DK, we get another heavyweight, we'd, we'd have to see how it goes there. You alright? You got a flush wound? Yeah. Sandbag kisses. Sandbag kisses. <laughs> the, the best and most painful kisses there are. Matt, how are you feeling? Were you uh, a little bit bitter about that last one? A little, a little bit bitter. It's good. Matt Got doesn't like second. to lose. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. I was really not in this video because I have a back tweak. So these awesome uh, fellas and Tom, who's just in for uh, a trip, yep. uh, you know, just really grateful for them to be able to show you guys uh, some more uh, tips and tricks and workouts with sandbags. 
Honestly, they're very basic implements. There are some little nuances that Ken had covered yeah. uh, with just how to pick it, be more efficient, et cetera, like we, we were talking about in the beginning of the video. Uh, but they're easy for you guys to make yourself or try uh, you know, in your gym or at home, whatever, you can throw them in the back of your, yeah. your vehicle. So easily portable uh, and just very versatile implements. Uh, but I can't thank you enough for, for giving hey, us your knowledge, your my wisdom. My pleasure, my absolute pleasure. And then obviously, okay, you work for Cerberus, so yep. maybe tell them about your bags, what you guys offer, yep. and then so we've got right below. a couple different styles of bag. We have these red ones that we're using here. This is called a dual ply sandbag. It's got a whole liner and everything built in, so you basically unzip it, fill it with sand, zip it all back up, put some Velcro straps on, and that's you done. We have another one which is like more uh, more versatile in terms of weight capacity. These are all to a standard weight. Uh, the other heavy, they're called heavy duty sandbags. They have a liner in them that you basically put in and then you fill to a certain weight. Then you can open them back up again, fill it up again, or take or use multiple liners and have like sort of increments in there. Uh, and then we have the throw bags as well, which is thrown for height, or you can use them as a kettlebell. So check them out and uh, grab one and put yourself through some torture. And once again, Ken, where can we find you at on so your social media? You can find me, Instagram is KN Strongman, Cerberus is just Cerberus Strength USA, and then on YouTube, if you just uh, search Ken Novitsky, N O W I C K I, you will find me there. Awesome guys, so check him out, make sure you follow him, check out all the other videos we've been linking throughout this uh, with the other sandbag video workouts you can do. Uh, but once again guys, thank you so much for checking out the video, subscribing to him, being a subscriber to this channel. And of course guys, stay a lean, mean, strike machine. Peace.